हेलो फ्रेंड्स नॉन दिस सीरीज ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शंस वी आर डिस्कसिंग राइट नाउ द प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच में अकर बिकॉज ऑफ कंकरेंसी नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अनरिपीटेबल रीड प्रॉब्लम इट इज आल्सो वन ऑफ वेरी पॉपुलर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ व्हाट इज अनरिपीटेबल रीड प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड Okay, friends. Now you see here. I have taken a scenario where we have two parallelly executed transactions T1 and T2. Now you see. Uh, let me say the transaction T1 starts executing and reads some value of a variable x. Let me say uh, the initial value of x. Let me say is 10. So what transaction T1 is 10. Uh, now transaction T2 comes and it also wants to have a read operation. No problem in that. The transaction T2 also reads the same value as 10. Okay, and the value is already in what local memory. Now transaction T1 comes and read uh, and update the value. Write a value of x. So let me say it update the value to what 15. Now that is okay. Still no problem in that. But after some time, the transaction T2 decides to repeat its read operation, and then the transaction reads. the value but this time the value is changed to be what 15 because both are using the same copy uh, in the buffer and the value is already being changed to what 15 although the value is not being updated into the database but even though right now the value is what 15 but now when transaction t2 reads the value 15 transaction t2 goes into confusion what is the confusion after some moment before before some time transaction t2 has read value what 10 and after some time transaction t2 reads the value what 15 now you understand why transaction t2 is confused because transaction t2 thinks that there is isolation as we have discussed in the previous video and if there is a isolation the trans transaction t2 thinks that it is the only one executing in the system If transaction T2 is only one executing in the system and transaction T2 has not changed the value, then how the hell the value is changed from 10 to what 15? Now there's a problem. You see, again understand the problem. Transaction T1 has read the value 10. That is okay. Read the value 10. Now it has updated the value 15. Now transaction T2 want to repeat its read operation, and transaction T2 have all right to do so. But we understand that every transaction understand or thinks that there is a isolation in the system and it is the only one executing in the system but when transaction t2 repeats the read statement and instead of reading 10 it read what 15 transaction t2 get confused because according to transaction t2 it is the only one executing in the system then how the hell the value change from 10 to 15 agar transaction t2 ko lag raha hai ki is wohi system ke andar tha to value 15 se 10 se 15 khud change nahi ho sakti now this is called unrepeatable read unrepeatable read problem and that is a very popular scenario why it is called unrepeatable read because i myself cannot repeat my read operation just a moment before the value was 10 now the value is changed to 15 so is there is a ghost in the system now who the hell changed the value from 10 to what 15 now that was a small problem but that is a clear cut case of inconsistency and that is called unrepeatable read problem okay